One month after the Covenant's campaign on Reach had been brought to a devastating conclusion, the alien aggressors finally arrived at Earth. Led by their prophet of regret, a meager fleet of 15 Covenant ships wrestled with the UNSC's Navy on October 20th, 2552. They were attempting to punch a hole through Earth's home fleet and the planet's vast defense grid of roughly 300 Mach platforms. And despite a hard-fought battle, one assault carrier managed to break through the UNSC's orbital armament. This ship came to a stop above the African city of New Mombasa, the East African Protectorate and home to one of Earth's six space tethers. Although a number of groundside forces engaged the Covenant, a selection of the Elite 105th, the Orbital Drop Shock Troopers, or ODSTs, prepared to be deployed right into the heart of the beast. They would be launched from high above the atmosphere, targeting the adaxial armor of the Covenant assault carrier and infiltrating the enemy in their own ship with the hope of taking it permanently out of the sky. On the ground, however, was another story. A Captain Veronica Dare of the Office of Naval Intelligence had learned that an asset crucial to the UNSC's war against the Covenant was trapped within the city. Come on, Veronica. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. New Mombasa's superintendent, a subroutine named Virgil, had recently uncovered an anomaly in the continent's local seismic activity, an anomaly which appeared to be at the crux of whatever the Covenant were desperately searching for. Buried below Oni's Alpha site on the city's southern coast was the superintendent mainframe, potentially the key to humanity's survival. For this reason, Dare contacted the UNSC heavy cruiser Say My Name and procured a squad of five ODSTs which had originally been set to target the Covenant carrier. As they launched toward the face of the planet, Dare changed their courses, sending them plummeting toward the city. Simultaneously, and without any notice, the Covenant assault carrier cracked a hole in the subspace and slipped away. The act was obliterative, knocking out all groundside communication, leveling large portions of the city, and sending the ODSTs far off course. As the sun of October 20th threatened to be swallowed by the horizon, the fate of humanity's resistance was threatened to be swallowed as well. Scattered across kilometers of urban terrain and separated by an aggressive Covenant occupation force, these five Marines and their Oni captain would need to find an asset that would be more important to the fate of humanity than anyone could have possibly imagined.